Order. I'll have the salad knee soys and some holly bread. <laughs> Tension. I said I wanted an omelette with no yolks. That's why you're just a waiter. <laughs> Balance. Jonathan was a driven person. He believed that he could take popular music in the style of the great keyboard players of our generation and apply that to the form of musical theater. We grew up in White Plains, which was about half an hour north of the city, and our mom really was the one who instilled a love of the arts. Jonathan was Jonathan. He'd see a piano and he'd sit down and he played by ear and, and he played. He just found out his kind of music. Jonathan was so important to us when he came in and auditioned for scholarship. He got a full scholarship. He blew everybody out of the water. We were taken by his energy, his commitment, his skill set uh, as an 18, 19 year old. You don't get to see writers write. It's a very quiet, mercurial event. So I think the time when I was with him, I could see that creativity. I think I could see an idea pop into his head and he would turn to a pad of paper and a pencil and start writing or just start playing notes on the piano. I don't think any of us knew exactly how big he was going to become. Just kept leaning us towards the fact that something's going to break, something's going to break. And of course, Rent was the project. He knew in his heart and soul that he was changing the American musical theater and the whole experience. And when somebody does that and they have talent and direction and persistence and drive like he did, it's going to be a home run. Every professional dream my brother had that he thought might happen over the course of his career happened in that one moment. And it was the moment that he died as well. The reviews came out for the off-Broadway production that were through the roof. Jonathan knew a lot of people, so there was this, this immediate overall citywide awareness that this wonderful guy had died on the eve of this thing he'd worked on so long. At some point, I remember my dad talking about Mara fans, which was something we had never heard of. We didn't know anything about it. And that somebody had talked about that being the possibility of what had happened and why John had the aneurysm and died. And we all know what happened at the two hospitals. It was, you know, a, a terrible misdiagnosis or they just overlooked all the conditions. Jo Jonathan had done so much for me and I was so dependent upon him as a friend and as a brother. You know, that when, when that gets taken away, you know, I was, it, it just, I, I can't breathe when I talk about it. it it's just, it, it was such, I never lost anybody that close to me. You have to understand that all the years that came before Rent were all the years we had with Jonathan. You know, I never got to know the Jonathan Larson, the myth, the legend. I never got to know that guy. None of us did. You know, the way that, that Mar fans uh, affected all of us was uh, really in a very deeply personal way. My parents, especially my dad, led the charge on wanting to become involved and raise awareness so that other people wouldn't go through what we went through and that there would be more knowledge and uh, more awareness about more fans. What had happened to Jonathan at two hospitals was that there was not enough awareness of the condition to take appropriate action recognize that something's happening with the heart. When the Marfin Foundation got involved, there was a lot of dialogue, and I remember Al saying, we can't let this happen to other people and other families. So we agreed to make a CME for first responders, EMTs, and emergency room doctors and nurses. It is remarkable to, over time, think of the lives that have been saved as a result of people being more aware of, of what Marfans is. And the fact that Jonathan became 
a, a, a celebrity after his death has been a good thing for the Mar fans community because it's given us someone to focus on and it's become part of his legacy. But boy, if we could have that one to do over again, we, we sure would take that opportunity. If Jonathan were here today, oh God, I'd want a whole evening. I'd want lunch, dinner, movie. What I miss most about Jonathan is just the companionship. What I would have loved to have seen is Jonathan develop. He would have written 20 more things of equal brilliance had he been, had he survived that horrible physical problem. Not exactly happy about the fact that you're down honoring him in absentia because I would much prefer that, that he were here. It's very important to continue supporting the Marfan Foundation. From the beginning when we lost Jonathan, it was the Marfan Foundation that was really the only ones who helped push this message and help support the family and other families with this condition. And everybody who supports is helping to push that message and we have to continue to do that.